Hello again, everybody. Uh, back once again, uh, another flea market haul here. I uh, got this uh, past Saturday here from the uh, largest uh, flea market in the state, or so they say. Uh, of course, that's what the other large flea market says as well. Um, this here guy here, it's one vendor there at this flea market. He has a lot of boxes of quarter books, so I love to go there and go through those first. See what I can find, and uh, picked up some of his, uh, you know, dollar, uh, two dollar books, a um, couple of four dollar books uh, that are a little older, a couple of uh, Silver Age, uh, Gold Key, and some Dell. But uh, we'll start here with some of these uh, twenty five cent books I picked up. Uh, the first one there is uh, Morbius number one. Still in the uh, original bag, sealed with the poster. Okay. That was pretty cool. And I found a uh, issue of Cloak and Dagger number one. This is from the uh, short lived regular series. Well, it was a loose bag issue, but you see the pages are a little off white. Not in bad condition there, though. But, uh, that was a quarter. Also found number two cloak and dagger from the four issue limited series. And that's a uh, pretty neat cover there. And, uh, it's not in too bad condition. And also got issue number four. And unfortunately, didn't find uh, number one and number three from that, but I'm sure I'll be able to find those somewhere. Always like Coke and Dagger. Uh, and then uh, I picked this issue up because this is just a really neat character. It's, um, it's a slightly newer issue from uh, 2005. Uh, it's the Goon, 25 cent uh, edition. That's a pretty cool cover there. So Goon's a neat character and. Uh, Pretty decent art inside. I like this guy's art pretty well. It fits this horror uh, stories that he does. Uh, and then I found a Marvel feature number seven. It's Red Sonia versus Conan. Got that simply for the cover and to uh, read the story there. You know. Never read that one. Red Sonia and Conan. Um, not in too bad a shape. The only problem is someone cut an order form or something off the back. So that kind of sucks, but that's has 25 cents. So I just got pretty decent art. Like I said, it's Red Sony versus Tony. 25 cents. And, uh, also found a Moon Knight, it's volume two, number one. No, it's not too bad. The cover still pretty good. Interior pages aren't that bad. So, yeah, I'll check that out. And here's a uh, another newer book. This is uh, only a couple years old here. And here's the first printing. It's uh, Mystery Society number one. Kind of wanted to check this title out. And, uh, this is in a pretty good condition here. Well, it's newer, so it's still in very fine near mint condition. Art looks pretty good in here. No. 
Christmas machine. And uh, here found a uh, some '90s goodness here. Uh, Punisher War Zone number one. Yeah, it's in it's a high grade, very fine condition. It's got some creases on the spine, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's got a, a heavier stock cover with that die cut on the skull. Hmm. And this is, uh, I think this was his uh, third title. <laughs> He was really popular in the 90s there for a while. And, uh, in this series, I picked up the first three issues um, a couple weekends ago. And I uh, found the fourth in this uh, Star Wars. This little toy line they did this uh, mini series on. And I said the covers are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are Sinkovich covers. They're all pretty cool. This is number four, so that finishes that series for me. I'll go ahead and read those. And God, I remember those toys. Anybody remember those? Somebody let me know if you remember these toys. I know I had a couple. I had a blue one. And it was like a, yeah, this guy here. I remember having that one. And another one. I can't remember which one it was. I know I got I grew up with lived across the street from me for a long time. I had a couple of them. We used to sit out there and use those and transformers and play. And here on to uh, some of the little. Higher price books, dollar, two dollar. The most I paid was four dollars, and then he takes twenty five percent off your total. So everything ends up being a little bit less than um, you know the price listed, which is pretty cool. There is a uh, pretty good condition. Um, oh yeah, fine minus. Uh, I'm not gonna take it out right now, but the pages are you know, off white to yellow. Not too bad. Still readable. Cover still nice. You see, it's an Iron Man 94. Little older issue there. Well, I'm trying to pick up some of these uh, older Bronze Age and Silver Age uh, issues. And then here, uh, character I've always liked. I unfortunately, I just for some reason never picked up too many. Uh, Issues, but uh, I always got stuck, you know, got caught up in the X Men. But uh, I'm gonna start picking up some more. He's older, Ghost Rider. Here's issue number 50. He had marked for a dollar. That's actually got the uh, it's Johnny Blaze and then the original Western Ghost Rider, which they changed the name to Knight Rider. But, uh, yeah, it's in pretty good condition. So, I don't know, VG plus, fine minus. It's not bad. And here I found some more of these uh, Dell and Gold Key. Uh, and actually a Whitman. But these, uh, a couple of these Turok Son of Stone. I believe this is like issue 110. And of the ones that I picked up from this guy, this has got to be the best condition. But you see here. Yeah, the spine isn't really doesn't have any spine roll going on there. The corners are not exactly sharp, but I mean, they're not really blunted. They're not bent. There's no creasing. This is in really good condition. The interior pages, are, of course, uh, this is from the 70s, so they've gone uh, kind of tan. But other than that. Yeah, this is really good shape. Love these covers, these painted uh, gold key covers. And here's a, a Whitman. I think this is issue 101. And it's actually not in bad condition. There is some spiral going on. And that's about the worst thing. 
you know, a couple of little small minor creases, a little bit here at the corner and here in the middle, a little bit at the top, but again, just gotta love those old painted covers. Take this glare off the computer. And then this, yeah, in the box, it's it's in okay condition. I mean, uh, it, you can see it's got a little color fading, and the pages inside are tan. Um, but I think it's from 1964. I looked it up, and actually ended up being a number one. It's a 12 cent cover, Dale Toka Jungle Team. So that's kind of cool. It's a number one Silver Age. Gotta like that. Yeah, he said it's not in the greatest condition, but uh, it's still readable. I say it's it's in a good it's in good condition. It's not quite VG, <coughs> but dollar fifty, twenty five percent off. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll take a drink. Talking too much. All right. And then this, he had four dollars marked on this, and um, we got the first two issues. They're not in great condition, but this is in a good, you know, near mint condition. Let's see, Wolverine regular series, issue number three. And uh, four dollars, and it's a sixteen dollar book. So, okay. and then uh, he had this up on his wall, and I mean, even the comics he have up, has up on his wall, I think the most expensive one is maybe five dollars. Uh, I saw this, I just like this cover. It's a neat looking character on the front. Um, it's Fantastic Four number 132. Never really got too much into the Fantastic Four, but uh, uh, it's Omega, the Ultimate Assassin, sweet looking character. Yeah, for three dollars, so you know, good Bronze Age Fantastic Four. Here. Yeah, these last two, uh, my girlfriend actually going through some of the boxes with me, and she pulled this up and asked me about it. And uh, I used to collect a lot of Batman comics um, all through the '90s, the whole Nightfall saga when he where he broke his back and uh, you know his vein and everything. But um, then kind of got out of Batman and uh, focused more on X Men. But uh, this is a little older issue of Detective Comics. It's number 427. And, uh, you know, still love me some Batman, so I think I start picking up a few here and there. It's not bad condition. I'd say it's, um, you know, BG Plus, fine minus maybe. A little creasing on the spine, but let's see, not too bad. Yeah, a little bit of spine roll, but it's uh, still pretty good. And in here, this is, um, I'd say it's a DG. Uh, there's some creasing and a little damage here at the top, but it's Teen Titans from the original series, I believe, or at least from the 60s. Uh, this is issue number 17. Yes, there's a little bit of damage here in the middle. And, uh, a few creases on the spine, and there's a crease running right here and right here that are kind of hard to see. They just barely, barely break the color. But they do break the color, unfortunately, and then one down here through the bridge. But. Also, it's just a weird character. Return of Mad Mod. <laughs> yeah. 
So, not bad. Made a mark for four dollars. Add everything up, twenty-five percent off. Pretty good deal. You know, always like going there. So, um, I don't think it did too bad. Hey you guys, uh, like to let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Uh, just uh, hit me up in some comments, comments, and uh, appreciate it. If you like to uh, like videos and uh, subscribe, it'd be awesome. And uh, again, we'll uh, everybody take care, and we'll catch you later.